Hi folks, this is Sandy from Creative Chaos. I just wanted to uh, do a very quick flip through of the last um, eight cards, sorry, eight tags that I finished for April. I'm really pleased with how this one turned out. This was cut out of an of an art journaling magazine, uh, and I uh, I altered it a little bit, not very much, um, and then I added this um, shield. The um, can't remember what this is called. Flutely. Uh, some paper. Sprinkled it with uh, a little bit of um, gold, and you can see there was some stamping here. And um, I'm very pleased with how it turned out. This is number two. Again, I'm very pleased with most of how these turned out, so I won't say that with each one of them. I'll just let you know if there's one I don't particularly care for. This one was very, very um, bluish green. I played with the color a lot, and then I, it went too dark on me. And it, what it was was it, it started out um, as a plain tag. Um, I think it was green, and then I added some leftover paper from my background sheet here that I used for my cleanup. Um, stamped it with some foamies, art foamies. Um, did some background stamping. I did a little bit of color dropping. Then I took a crafters, oh, I don't know if it's crafters workshop, but it's one of the six by six or the smaller ones, which was a tech stamp. And um, by that point it was too dark, so then I went over with, I had some paint left on on my um, my stencil. So I um, had done this gold first and then I put it down and went over it with um, a wet baby wipe to which I had added a little bit of white. So instead of it coming out real, real dark, it came out gray. And then I went back and docked it a little bit with a little bit more gold. And then this is a stamp, take the time to create. I'm very pleased with how that one turned out. This one is very, very simple. Um, I wanted to use up some of my stash of uh, die cuts and whatnot, so that's basically this is just um, strap of paper, and these are all die cuts, and then this was a um, a, a three-dimensional die cut which I added on there, and I'm really pleased with the simplicity of it. I thought it was cute and quite different, and yet very simple. And I I don't know. I just thought it made a that the colors juxtaposed to each other were were quite attractive. I'm pleased with that as well. Started a little pinky. Basically, um, I stamped this on tissue paper. Um, stamped these. This is all from a set that I have. I'm not sure who it's from, who it's by. Um, and then played with the colors a little bit. Did some background stamping with the text stamp in there. And um, as I said, that was from. Um, tissue paper, as was that, and I'm quite happy with the way it turned out. I keep saying that, don't I? <laughs> this one was, um, I didn't know what to do with this one. It started out uh, from a, um, I stamped the same, I stamped, excuse me, this stamp here on there as well, and then it was, it was a little too busy, so Anyway, I was you wanted to use up some of my um, collaging stash that I've cut out of magazines and whatnot. So that's basically what this is. It's playing with paint, some background stamping, which I do on most every card I do, some some washi tape. Um, this was cut out from a, an art journal um, magazine, as was this. And this was cut out of one of the local rags here. It's kind of a thing that you find in coffee shops and whatnot. And I thought that that was quite an appropriate uh, caption. This one was um, mostly blue. I lightened it up a little bit with some white gesso. Uh, did a little bit of doodling. This is a 3D, like a decoupage image, which I had found sitting in amongst my stuff, so I thought I would use it. Put a little bit of washi tape here. Uh, did a little bit of stenciling there. Um, and basically that's it. It's very simple and came together quite quickly. This one I really, really like. Um, 
this was basic just plain paper uh, there's not a I don't think I added any paint to it to color it at all um, did a little bit of doodling this these were all cut out of um, newspaper not newspapers magazines uh, I think she was out of an art journaling magazine I think this was I'm not sure where this came from I think it may have come out of an art journaling magazine cut her a little hat and doctored a little bit um, and this was from a sticker set that I have and I'm really happy touched up her hair a little bit but I thought it really turned out well um, and I really really liked that one it was fun to make this one um, plain pink. It actually started a green on the bottom. I put green on it and pink and then I didn't like the way the green looked so then I went over it with you can see a little bit here. I went over it with some gesso and um, brought it back and then more pink. Um, stamped on it background. Took a small um, one of those little mini um, stencils from Joggles. It's roses. Used gold paint to stamp on the background. Um, these are both die cuts. Um, one I mounted, the other I put flat in the back. Um, this is Nouveau Drops, and then this is a cutout from um, some um, a uh, strip word strip that I had from um, a die cut set that I had. Oh, and then I went around a little bit darkened a few things with some um, Stabilo wall pen. And very last one for April 30th. I thought this turned out well. I had a hard time getting the colors right. I originally started out with something much pinker and I found that it didn't showcase the flamingo well enough so then I tried to go darker. The darker didn't do it so then basically what I did was I just used um, gesso to kind of whiten it up all around it and then um, shaded around the flamingo with Stabilo Wall. This is a strip from a journal, uh, art journal page. Uh, this is a die cut as is that. Did a little bit of doodling, put a little bit of um, glitter on it and um, called it a day and I'm really happy with how that one turned out. Okay so that's it for the month of April. I am going to be doing a flip through um, which I will be putting up very soon of all 30 tags um, and there won't be any narrative or anything I don't think I just want to do so um, be quick flip through of all 30 tags uh, which I have posted over various videos over the month if you enjoyed this um, please give me a like subscribe leave me a comment and come back and see me again real soon thanks for watching bye bye